Okay, so for that, I'm going to open up my project that I have created for you. Okay, so here I have two elements in my Revit. Okay, so for those of you who are familiar with family creation, you may have come to this situation where you have two elements that are almost identical to each other, but the only thing that differentiate between these two elements is that one family has a slightly different shape, maybe due to a void, then one other family does not have any void on it. So when we come across this situation in the past, the only solution that you have is to create two different family in Revit. But with the new version of Revit 2021, it is made possible to control the cut geometry in one single family by playing around its parameter. So this is what void uh, cut family geometry type is. Okay, so when you see it on my screen here, what I have is I have two boxes. So one box here, the first box that I have here, does, uh, has a very uh, smooth surface. It does not have anything. This is a very simple box. And the other family has some sort of a void that we have here. So previously, like I mentioned, you need to create two family in order to have this outcome. But if I click on this one, you can see that this actually comes from the same family. So I can simply just change it to with void or without void. So with that, I'm going to show you on how you can create such family. So for those of you who are, uh, who are the person who actually create the family for your project, so this might be the content that you are looking for. So with that, I'm going to go to file and then I'm going to create a new family. Okay, so this family, I'm going to use a metric generic model, which is the simplest, uh, template for family creation. So I'm going to click on open. Okay, so for those of you who have come to our advanced training classes, so you might feel that this is familiar to what we have done in class, where we're going to create a simple box. So with that, I'm going to create my reference plane first. Okay, so I'm going to put it here and here. I'm going to create a dimension. Make it equal and then put one more dimension here. Moving on to this one. Equal and then this one. So I'm going to create a parameter out of this uh, dimension. So this is line. And then I'm going to go ahead and create an extrusion form. So I'm going to use the rectangular and put it here and don't forget to lock it. Okay, finish. Now we're going to go to front view. Okay, so here we're going to create one more reference plane to control the height of the box. Okay, now create a parameter for height and just move it here and then we can lock it. So in my 3D view, you will see something like this. So this is just a simple box that I have created. So what if I wanted to have void for one type and the another type I do not have any void. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to family type here. Okay, so this is my family type. So I'm going to create two new types first. So one is without void. Okay, and the other one is with void. Okay, so now I'm going to click on OK. And after that, I'm going to go to family type again and I'm going to create a new parameter. So this is the new parameter that you can do. So I'm going to name it as void and then I'm going to change the type of parameter to be a yes or no parameter. You will see why. And then I'm going to leave the group parameter under other. You can click on OK. So now we have the parameter located here. OK, so I'm going to go to the front view to create the void. So with that, I'm going to go to create and then go to void form, create a void form extrusion. So here I'm going to make a void form in terms of circle. 
So I'm just going to put it here and then I'm going to go finish. Okay, look into the 3D view. So I'm going to move uh, to make it just like this one. So I have one uh, void that goes, uh, uh, goes along my uh, box. So what I'm going to do is that here, I'm going to go to family type and with void and without void. So without void, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to untick on the void parameter. So why I'm going to untick is that. So now this is with void. So with void, I'm going to click on the void that I have previously done. And then the cut geometry is picked here. And then we're going to associate the void parameter. So now you can see that if we use with void, you will see something like this. But if you use without void, okay, this is unticked, this is not associated. So you will see that they have something like this. So this is a very simple yet very useful addition that we have for family creation in Revit 2021. So of course, like I always mention, if you have come to my class is that when you have created your family, the important thing to do is actually to test it out in your project. So I'm going to load this into my project. So I'm going to put it here and one more here. So. Here, you can see that this is family two without void. So if I change this into with void, you will see something like this. So this is the simple step that you can add into your family in order to have two different shapes in one particular family. Okay, so this is very simple, I think. But again, this is very useful if you guys are dealing with family creation in your current project. Okay, so that is on um, void card family geometry type. Okay, so do not worry if you cannot catch up on the step that I have done previously. Just wait for, uh, just give us a few days. We're going to have this video uploaded in our YouTube channel. So do not forget to actually subscribe to our channel.